Hey, there seems to be, uh, I don't know, a lot of confusion about what to put in a pre-workout, what not to put in a pre-workout. Now, my main focus and my goal with any pre-workout formula is vasodilation. I want to flush the muscle. When you think about how does the blood get to the muscle, the blood carries all the nutrients. Blood carries oxygen. So how does this get to the muscle? It's just, it, it comes through the veins? No. Veins get there, start to get there as arteries split into veins, veins split into capillaries. Down into the muscle, you don't have veins. The veins are on the surface, basically. So the capillaries are what feeds the muscle. So when I do high rep um, pump type of work, and I'm trying to flush the muscle, I call it capillary work because I kind of like to have a better handle just mentally, you know, with what, um, what I'm trying to accomplish. And what I'm trying to accomplish is stretch that fascia. Stretch that fascia, feed that muscle, stretch the fascia uh, again and again and again, repeatedly micro amounts at a time. And I believe you're going to have um, easier accommodation for new muscle growth, more muscle growth. So believe which one I believe, but it's what I believe. It's what works for me. I haven't touched a weight. I've, I've been back to lifting now two and a half weeks after seven, almost eight months of no lifting. And again, seven, almost eight months of no anabolics, drug-free. And yeah, I've lost size, but I'm actually gaining size back. So I don't, I don't look great. But for a guy with on no drugs for almost eight months, you know, and um, no real care about taking any, con any consideration of protein for eight months and no lifting any weights for eight months, I think I look pretty decent. So here's what I do. Here's what I put in my pre-workout. Just a little shaker bottle. Um, I put in L-arginine powder. L-arginine powder, right? It's a brand that I use, brand that I trust, 100%. LRG powder, it's unflavored. You don't want to use too much of it. It's kind of like vitamin C. Bowel tolerance is what limits how much of it you can put in your body. One teaspoon of this is, I believe, two grams. So what we want to do is grab a spoon here. So take this teaspoon. I want, if I'm when I'm jacked, I want like seven grams, eight grams. Not now. I'll put about, uh, you know, we're looking at about four or five grams in there. That's plenty. Four or five grams L-arginine powder. Next thing, uh, currently this is what I'm using for the pre-workout. Pre-workout thing is supposed to keep me a little focus, a little more vasodilation. It doesn't really matter what the hell it is as long as you believe in the label claims. In other words, if you get something you've never, ever, ever heard of and it looks really cheap, they probably don't have the money to put into the labs to synthesize the product. Then again, if they spend too much on advertising, maybe that's where all the money is and it's all hype and it's too glossy and there's nothing in the product. But I trust this company, BPI. They have other products outstanding that I like. So, and again, I'll switch this up every time it runs out. I go get another one, I'll get something different. Main thing I'm looking for is some NO2 type of shit in there. Uh, and the rest of it, it's just all fodder. It doesn't matter. It's just some shit to give me a little more energy, you know. Now, at my body weight, I'm going to put a good bit of this in here. You know, you got to try it for yourself and see where you're at, how much you need. You know, I can put a, a shitload in here, not really. I'll put a little bit of that in there. Uh, now, here comes the main ingredient. None of this really works without sugar. I've always been a big um, proponent and user of sugar manipulation to spike my insulin levels. Uh, I have used insulin in the past, uh, very rarely. Uh, excellent results, but a little difficult to control because you gain everything. It drives everything into the cell. It doesn't matter if it's driving carbs into fat cells or if you spill over. No room for all that glycogen. You're full in the liver. You're full in the muscles. The excess shit is going to go into the fat cells as well as protein. So I think that um, if you're a healthy individual, you have enough insulin in your body, you want to get about 70 grams, 75 grams. Sometimes I'll go a lot higher. The other thing sugar does is during the workout, it blunts the natural uh, release of cortisol in the body, which is catabolic. So it does a lot of really good things. This shit here is like 38 grams of carbs. And again, you want something simple. You want a sugar, you want dextrose is ideal. You want some dextrose, waxy maize, some modified shit's okay. 
You want uh, sucrose is good. Let me tell you what's not good. And Rich Piano should be paying attention to this because apparently he doesn't know. Fructose, like blueberries for instance, shit sugar to go pre-workout or right after your workout for glycogen you know, concerns. Because fructose, fruit sugar is the only sugar your body can't convert into glycogen. Where's your pump come from? Glycogen. Okay? So as I'm wringing it out and putting it back in. The last thing I do, some super, super clean. And this shit is super, super clean. And I trust it. It's Lee Labrada. He spent decades and decades building his name and reputation as legend. I don't think he's going to sacrifice it all by not meeting label claim. So here I'm only going to put about 25 grams of whey isolate. This is all cold filter processed. Heat damages protein molecules. Even when you cook your food, you can destroy up to 40% of the protein in it. So there's a lot to it. And that's all you do. So I'll put water in this, shake this sucker up, and now I'm going to go out and have some breakfast. And uh, then I'll drink this probably about 20 minutes, 25 minutes before I grab a weight and I'll head to the gym. So that's what it is. Proof is in the pudding. Give it a try.